Hello and welcome to the channel Tech and More. So, as part of the ongoing series that is Salesforce concepts to know as a Salesforce tester, welcome to another video. But before proceeding, as I do give the differentiating factor of this playlist, I'll reiterate uh, reiterate myself very quickly. So, you know, you might have this question that okay, you, the topics that you're covering here are very much common and are can be very much easily located. in other uh, youtube channels or in other playlist as well so what differentiates this particular playlist right so in one line a lot of content that you find on the internet regarding salesforce as a platform or the salesforce topics to learn correlates more to the development side but this particular playlist is concerned with covering the topics and going in detail only till the time or till the scope that you need to know as a salesforce tester so every topic that is getting covered and the top pointers that we're discussing all those things are being discussed to uh, keeping in mind with the tester point of view so we are not going to go in a lot of detail so that is what differentiates it right so now let's go on to the main content to the main topic that we are going to discuss today which is standard and custom objects in salesforce now the key topics that we're going to discuss will be what are objects in salesforce what are standard what are custom objects and how do you access these objects that is all you need to know as a salesforce tester you need not go ahead and create these objects you need not go ahead and set up these objects so that is what we are going to see now first of all what are objects so definition is there in the screen which says our data objects are database tables that permit you to store data that is specific to an organization now this definition you know i have to put it as a placeholder but i do not believe in understanding concepts or in explaining concepts from the definition point of view so i always try to make it more practical so we have uh, the devorg logged in and for those of you who do not know what is a devorg please go into the playlist again and you will find the video which says how to create a salesforce devorg and that is all you have to do right so now let's go ahead and see what are objects so these tabs that you see here which is accounts contacts loans opportunities courses enrollments these are tabs when you call in the typical language these are termed as tabs right but when you call it in the salesforce language you uh, you call them as objects right so uh, accounts is an object wherein different account records will be there right then contacts will be uh, uh, an object wherein different contacts will be there right so it's the same case with loan and opportunity so if i go to accounts tab if i click on a record and uh, i click on details right so i will find these different fields here correct so this is what an object looks like these are the records and these are the different fields in it so that is what objects are now coming to the point wherein what are standard and what are custom objects so again you can have a look at the definition but i will try to reiterate more practically because that is what my job is in this video so you can go ahead have a look at this uh, this these definitions later on but let me go ahead and let me first of all show you what standard and custom objects are in practicality so a couple of objects that salesforce provides you out of the box that is when you log into the devorg these objects are there by default you do not create them that are termed as standard objects as the name suggests right because these objects are there by default so these are the standard objects so in salesforce some of the standard objects are accounts contacts opportunities these are standard objects cool now uh talking about the custom object so when you create an org or when you create an org for your client a couple of objects might be used by your client but a couple of objects are something that they do not have in the salesforce as a provision right so these objects are some some uh, entities that you need to create for the client as per their requirement correct so uh Uh, these objects are created with the help of the custom object functionality that is you click here on the setup right and uh, you go to the object manager and in the object manager you find different options or you know there are so many options but let us only focus on this create button so it says create custom object now why is there no option to create a standard object because that will negate the definition right so standard objects are something that will be there by default you need not work on them but custom objects are something that you can create now going to the ui here in one of the custom object is loans so a customer came to came to you and they said that you know what we need a loans object to uh, keep a track of all different sort of loans in the org and uh, 
uh, we want you to create an object of loans and create different fields in it. So you went ahead, you clicked on create this, uh, this one, uh, create custom object and you filled in all the data and uh, yeah, that, there you go. Now, one thing that I can tell you, I will not create an object because that is something that you need not do as a Salesforce tester. But yes, you should know how to differentiate between a custom object and a say, standard object. So how do you do that? The most easiest way is that you just look at the API name that is there, right? So you, if there is a, a combination of underscore underscore C in front of the API name, that is a custom object. Or uh, you go to the type field and here and you will see standard object and custom object. So this is how you can locate a standard and a custom object. That is all. Now, these are custom objects. So custom objects are basically created by the people for the client as per their need. These are the custom objects, right? Now, accessing objects in setup is something that I've already shown. And, uh, you know, you, of course, you might have this question that, you know, we need to know how to create these objects and how to, what are the different fields and everything, right? But honestly, this is something that you can find in other videos, other videos as well. But if you are someone who is willing to move into the Salesforce domain as a tester, then what you need to do has been covered well enough. That is for sure. Nobody is going to ask you when you are on a project, the creator object for us. You just need to know what standard and custom objects are, how to locate them, how to identify them and that is all. So uh, I genuinely believe in just sticking to the intent and uh, that is something that we are already doing. So I hope that this video was clear to you. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope to see you in another video very soon. And uh, yeah, please, please share your feedback. I know there is a lot of scope for improvement, but yes, we, we all, we all have that. So uh, awaiting your uh, feedback and uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you.